Awaiting orders. Oh, what's up, everybody? This is Joe Savvy bringing you a 1v1 matchup against a Protoss opponent. Map is King Sejong Station. And uh, this is a unique map because there's a back door and Reapers can be abused quite handily. So I'm going to open with double Reapers. Uh, this game is live, so I'm, I'm creating it on the spot. I decided because I saw this map and there's the back door, I'm going to open up with double Reapers. Unless they took that out. Did they take that out? Oh, no, no, it's still there. Okay. Good. I was like, whoa, man, that's terrible. The most important thing to do against Protoss is uh, not overexpand because then you'll end up getting overwhelmed because your army's too small. And making sure to get, you know, that, you know, keep, you know, get that, that critical mass of, of units, you know, when you need them uh, by like the. 10, 12, 15 minute mark, whatever is attacking you, you need to have the army to deal with it at that point. And that's what makes Protoss so hard, is, or playing against Protoss so hard, is that when when they have their big all-in at 8 to 10 minutes, you need to have something to counter it with. And, uh, I mean, I, I misjudge a lot. Everybody does. The pros misjudge all the time, and they end up losing to some like stupid thing like a 4-gate or you know, like an 8-gate all-in or 6-gate or something ridiculous like that. And uh, it's not that they're doing anything wrong per se, it's just that the attacks are so strong and, you know, they're trying to play as greedy as possible that they're just getting overwhelmed. So I'm not going to do that a whole bunch. I'm going to, you know, maybe be a little bit greedy, but not, you know, like crazy greedy. Took a bit of a risk not watching my ramp, but... Man, you get away from my, dr my SCV. You bastard. Okay, now that all that stupid shenaniganery is done, uh, going to continue to macro up. Uh, don't need that last SCV. Gonna get a Reaper out. Orbital. Not getting a depot until I have two Reapers. We'll get a command center before that, actually. You do kind of have to cut when you do that. But as long as you don't uh, delay your, your units too much and you do it pretty close to on time, you're alright. It's not too bad. Okay. Almost time for command center. And get it down here. Okay, now we need a bunker. Using the Reaper to scout around, see for check for proxies. Factory. Not going mech. So Going to attack with both at the same time. Hopefully disrupt whatever timing he was planning. Maybe check for an expansion at the same time. Run. Run! Hopefully an oracle doesn't show up right now. That could be bad. Upgrade complete. 
No, nope, for an expansion. By the way, I'm gonna put my uh, widow mine in mineral line just in case. Tear it down here. Additional supply depots required. Base is under attack. Ready for dust off. Turret just in case he decides on some kind of latent widow mines. Poke up, see what he's doing. I got a couple workers, but not a whole bunch. like a lot of uh, gateways, so I get a ghost academy. Two more barracks. Additional supply depots required. Where's the emergency? Not enough energy. SCV ready. I have a feeling he's going for storm. Not so. See if we can get in here. Complete. On my way. Add on. Complete. Ready for dust off. Upgrade. Complete. Let's go. Oh, damn you, you bastard. Definitely fell behind on macro at that point. Let's go ahead and expand again. I did do some damage though. Get some more barracks. Upgrades, depots. Definitely storm. Okay, so we need ghosts. Life flights here. Gangway coming It's go time. More depots. Yep. SCB ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. 
Are under attack. Not enough minerals. Big job. This better be good. Oh, it's all. Add on. Okay. I think I have enough uh, complete. Enough workers. Not enough energy. Ready for dust off. Stop! Put it! So it all came down to the ghost, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and watch it. FGT Wisdom. Notice a lot more people are in Diamond League. And I don't know if uh, that's a thing that Blizzard's doing or because there's less people or whatever reason. It just seems like a lot more in Diamond. And. A lot of them aren't really that great. Um, I'm not saying that they're not rightfully in Diamond. It's just that, you know, I come from the old school, so I, you know, I know a lot of different strategies. I know a lot of different play, you know, and I don't know. Um, I don't think this guy really did anything wrong. I mean, I was doing a little bit of harass on him, nothing major, but I probably disrupted him during that whole time. He never attacked me, so he's taking his probe. Uh, speed it up to 8x till we get to the point where I attack with the Reapers. Get an expansion. Uh, this bunker is critical. Get it right away. Notice how his two stalkers came out. And I also scout this entire section, kind of like a big looping section, just so I don't have to worry about, you know, worry too much about that kind of stuff. So I get one SCV or one probe and then run away. So I don't have to worry about, like, uh, you know, some kind of hidden blink tech on this section. He could have very well came up here, and that would have been a pain in the ass to deal with, but oh well. You know, it's kind of how it is against Protoss. You have to really check everything. All right, got a couple. I think I'm up to two probe kills now. Okay, so these stalkers right here. If I didn't have the bunker, I wouldn't have really anything except for four marines. And you know, with perfect control, I could probably fend off two stalkers with four marines. But it would be very difficult. And I have to pull SCVs, and it's not something I wanted to do. A couple little micro tricks, and then run back to the bunker. Hoping to get some free stalker kills, but it didn't happen. Um, we're going to speed up to the midpoint, where I think I made the biggest mistake. When I went ahead and went for that drop, I, I think it came down to you know, me just not looking at my minerals. I had a ton of minerals, and you know, not I wasn't producing enough, unfortunately. So the way this build worked is it got really strong toward the late game. So we're going to stop right here with this drop. It's a dual prong drop. One, one in the you know top, one in the bottom. Uh, so first, Widow Mine goes off. Now the worker counts. 
up to 10, which is good. I think I... Oh yeah, I lost it. I don't know, that's a staple of me right there. And then I opt to try to go for the expansion. Notice I did kind of swing past the third to see if it was there. Then I see a cannon there, pull it away. Uh, that's what you want to do. You don't want to try to drop on that cannon because there's just too much that they can do to come back. Yeah, you may get a couple of kills, but then you'll lose your, your medevac and all your marines. And, and you're just better off running back home and then macroing up. Uh, way ahead on supply at this point. Macro, f way way ahead. And because I had all those extra minerals, I end up getting, you know, a fourth base and then a, you know, a bunch more barracks and, you know, my ghost, ghost, I scout, you know, scout the Templar archives and assume, or I, I think I actually saw the Templar coming at my drop, so that basically told me, okay, there's Templar. And, uh, that was pretty much the deciding factor. If I didn't have ghosts, that match, that battle would have been very, very close because I didn't really have the best splits. I didn't really split at all, unfortunately. Uh, but I had a bunch of medevacs to help heal, and that really saved my army. Um, ton of money. I'll be pretty close to max by the time we even engage. I think I would have just overwhelmed him anyway. You know what? I'm going to go back just a little bit to the point. Alright, right there. Perfect. Okay, so I lead with the ghosts. Unfortunately, two of them get feedbacked and terrible EMPs. And then my army gets bunched up on the ramp, so it was pretty much just a spot where he could just rip it apart. Uh, had I known I was this far ahead on, you know, supply, I would have just probably continued to macro or just stayed back home, maxed out, and attacked again. Uh, basically what happened was I just ended up with too much money and I needed to build, you know, some more barracks and everything. Get some more high-tech units, more ghosts. Ghosts are great. Great, great, great. Uh, and zealots are good too, you know, against marines, but just not when you, know, you have that few. And he just outright leaves the game. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.